ever wondered how your favorite shows like the mandalorian or movies like the avatar way of the water created entire new worlds without even leaving the studio well that's not exactly cgi that's virtual production in real time in this video we are breaking down what's new what's essential and what you need to know if you are working or planning to work in virtual production so shortly after nvidia dropped their pro series gpus chaos released arena a proprietary real time tool built specifically for in camera visual effects or icv effects on led walls then a few days later foundry unveiled nuke stage a brand new application for virtual production and in camera visual effects which does not require a game engine so up until now game engines like unreal and unity have dominated the space when it comes to powering led volumes why because they're already optimized for real time performance plus they're open users can write custom code build plugins and shape workflows to fit just about what the production needs but foundry's approach with nuke stage is different let me tell you how nuke stage is hardware agnostic in the sense that it runs on commodity hardware and does not require a specialist media server but it is designed for nvidia gpus funny how everything is these days it is currently in early access by invite only no word yet on a public release date so until then unreal engine still rules the led wall space and if you are sticking with unreal engine for led wall production what kind of workstation you actually need let's break it down for you now for the cpu currently the overall fastest cpu for unreal engine is amd threadripper 7985wx it has the core count and multi threaded power for unreal engine but if you're on a tighter budget the intel core 9 ultra 9 i should say 285k or ryzen 9 9950x are strong alternate fewer cores but higher clocks now when it comes to gpus we got two big contenders the latest nvidia rtx 6000 ada is designed for pro workflows which offer tons of vram and full quadro sync to support then there's a the geforce rtx 5090 cheaper and actually faster in raw 3d performance but lacking some of the pro grade features but if you're working on a large led wall setup the rtx 6000 ada is a better choice as you'll need that extra vram sync support also is essential the pro series is also pretty kick ass by the way 96 gb vram talking about ram and storage a minimum of 64 gb but 128 gb is preferable for storage go with 2 tb nvme ssd for your os applications plus a 4 tb plus ssd for project files make it raid in case you are worried about backup in addition to these core components virtual production often requires specialized hardware to enable functionality like syncing the displays on the led wall linking two video cards to share resources etc now let's talk about the specialized gear that makes virtual production actually work now the quadro sync card which is essential for led volumes it keeps everything unreal engine the led wall and your physical camera in perfect sync nvidia nv link so if you want more power use two gpus NVLink lets one render the inner thrust of what the camera sees, while a second handles the rest of the wall. Capture cards. Now, capture cards are crucial when doing set extensions, where the virtual world continues beyond the LED wall, or if you need to send the feed to another system. There's also systems which allow your camera to be detected in 3D space and so on. But let's not get into that. So, whether you're building your first virtual production rig or scaling up to a full LED volume, knowing the right tools. and the right hardware makes all the difference got questions about nx build get in touch with us through our website or visit one of our stores across the country until next time